found it's your boy Tony 2000. We back with another video, man. I know it's early in the morning. Before I get deep into this video, man, I want to tell all my subscribers I appreciate the love and support. But I need y'all to hit that like button, share these videos, and also the Baltimore way. I'm going to actually move that to the join session so all my members I have access to these videos because there's certain videos I want to do that I really can't do on the other YouTube. So to join, I could do a little more. You feel me? I can talk a little more. But let's get into this story. So today I'm going to take y'all deep into Baltimore. We're going to talk about the Baltimore City Correctional Center, the Baltimore City Jail, and we're just going to talk about the Baltimore streets and one of the organizations that had Baltimore shook, that had the whole city shook up. All right, so the BGF, that's short for Black Gorilla Family. The Black Gorilla Family is an organization, I don't want to call them a gang, that originated in the prisons. They say it came from California. It eventually got to Baltimore. And before the Crips and Bloods was actually in Baltimore, the BGF was real big. We had three-letter gangs like OTM out that mob, you feel me, stuff like that. Now, these organizations based on neighborhoods, blocks, but they also get bigger in prison. When dudes go to prison, they link up, they come together, then they bring it out on the streets. So if you're from East or West or South Baltimore or Baltimore County, you get linked into these organizations, and now you can move all over the city freely. But let's talk about Tavon White. Tavon White was an inmate in a Baltimore City jail. Now, Tavon was said to be one of the head members of the BGF. So, Tavon was locked up for attempted murder. He was facing a lot of time, you know, but he had a lot of young dudes that was under him that was doing whatever he said do. Also, in the jail, he got real close to a number of inmates. They say over 13 COs was close to them, too. So he finessed a lot of the COs, a lot of the women COs. They said he preyed on the women with low self-esteem. He got them to bring in stuff like cell phones, food, cigarettes, narcotics, whatever he could to make sure his visit or his stay at the jail was comfortable, make sure his homeboy stay was comfortable. Now, with this come a lot of things. It come a lot of controversy. It come a lot of beef because... When you got an inmate that got power over the guards, now if he get into it with you, he can get your door popped, get something done to you, he can get you stabbed up, it go real deep. So basically, Tavon was finessing these women. He was actually making a lot of money from jail, so he was paying their bills, he was buying them cars. And wait till y'all hear this, it get deep, it get crazy. This is a crazy story. Make sure y'all listen to this to the end. So basically, Tavon ended up getting four other women pregnant. At the same time, four correctional officers. These young ladies, they finish correctional officer school. They go work at the jail. They making money. They supporting their family. And out of all the dudes in the street, they get caught up with an inmate that's facing over 20 years in prison. Crazy, right? But Tavon basically was eating seafood dinners, drinking champagne, running the whole jail. Anything he wanted, he could get. Wasn't nothing off limits to Tavon. He had over 13 COs that was on his payroll. You know, he had like a few women he was knocking off. Like I said, he had four of these women pregnant at the same time. And man, Tavon was pitting at work. He was calling shots from the jail. He was even running things in the streets. So he making all this money. And then say if you an inmate, you coming there, you timid. You don't know nothing about jail. You ain't BGF. So now you get into it with one of these dudes, you bump into one of these dudes or something like that. Now you in a situation where though the COs will pop your door or they going to get you hit instantly. So this dangerous, you know what I mean? Like this real dangerous, man. And the Baltimore City Jail always been wild. It's always been crazy. It's one of them places when you go in there, you know you got to be a wolf. Because if you ain't no wolf, if you a sheep, you going to get ate up. That's just how it is. But Tavon was making these moves. And, you know, he was also fighting his charge. Now, allegedly, one of the women got caught bringing something in. A couple more inmates that weren't affiliated with BGF, they sunk the ship. People started getting tired of them running the jail. Dudes were scared. Dudes was intimidated. A lot of dudes was hating because they weren't eating steak at night. He was eating steak, scrimp. He was doing what he had to do. So, 
the organization got put under investigation. The whole jail actually got put under investigation by the feds. The feds swooped in. They put charges on the young women that was pregnant. They put charges on a lot of other COs. And Tavon also faced more charges, more outside charges. Now, Tavon eventually got 20 years for his attempted murder, but he also got 12 years added on for his organization in, in prison, you know what I mean, for him running the prison for the things he was doing. And, man, a lot of these women lost their jobs. They can't work in no jails no more. A lot of them got time behind bars. They ain't get big time, like 18 months, two years, three years, stuff like that. But these women coming from working, having a nine to five, taking care of their kids, to being in prison because they wanted to help an inmate. And a lot of stuff like this go on in jails all over America. Now, Tavon was said to have a lot of rank in BGF. I did a BGF story, if y'all want to go check that out, an old story just explaining BGF and stuff like that. And I'm going to do a lot more stories about BGF in Baltimore because they pretty much, I don't want to say they run the city, but in so many words, they run the city. You know, BGF, they do what they want, you know what I mean? But I just felt like this was a crazy story because you had this dude, 30-something years old, man, came into jail, and he was bold with it. Actually, they got a recording of him on the jail phone saying, don't nothing move in this jail without me. I run everything. Can't nobody do nothing without me. Can't nobody eat without me. Can't nobody breathe without me. Can't no moves get made without me. Now, that's a lot of power for one man, but he had it under control. You know, they said this dude was making almost millions of dollars from prison, buying houses, buying cars, doing whatever he wanted to do. And it's crazy because a lot of these COs, man, they don't think about the long run. You know, they think about the short money and making the money, man. But, yeah, so Tavon now, like I said, he got 20 years plus 12 years for the crimes committed while he was in prison. The four women that was pregnant by him, I know a lot of them got like three years, two years. The other 10 people that was, um, the other 10 COs that was plugged into this, I'm not sure how much time they got, man. But this is a crazy Baltimore way. But, hey, that's the Baltimore way. That's how it go, man. So, man, let me know what y'all think about this situation. Leave your comments below. Women, if you was a CO out there, would you look out for Tavon? And, man, y'all already know what it is, man. If you was in there, would you have four COs printed? But, yeah, let me know what y'all think about this. If you're new to the family, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Hit that join button for more content. I love y'all, fam. Share this video. I'm out.